Jordan Henderson, Steven Gerrard, and Trent Alexander-Arnold's brother's sacrifices. Now check this out, guys, and tell me numbers don't have any value. 33-year-old Jordan Henderson, coming towards the end of his career, has reportedly been offered a £33 million a year contract to play in Saudi Arabia under the management of his role model, Steven Gerrard, who he replaced as Liverpool FC captain. Gerrard's most iconic performance was in Liverpool's 3-3 draw versus AC Milan in the 2005 Champions League final, which Liverpool went on to win on penalties after being down by three goals to the best team in the world at the time, guys, a team with Dida, Maldini, Nesta, Shevchenko, Perlo, Kaká, Inzaghi. They took a 3-0 lead against Liverpool's team, which consisted of players like Jimmy Traore, Vladimir Smitsa, Steve Finnan. And people believe this is organic. It's not. It clearly isn't. The work I've put out over three years shows you that. Gerard was also the hero in Liverpool's 3-3 draw with West Ham United in the 2006 FA Cup final, which Liverpool went on to win on penalties. It looked like Liverpool were going to lose that game and Gerard appeared and he was the hero. Go back and watch the highlights. In Gematria, masonry equals 33. Liverpool were founded by 33 degree Freemason John Holding, who also founded Everton. And 33 is the highest degree of Freemasonry. Liverpool has a Masonic Lodge outside its stadium. It's all there, guys, if you accept it. Gerard was involved in a 3-3 game which went against Liverpool, which shows you again just how coded everything is. Check this out. Liverpool squandered a three-goal lead in the final 11 minutes at Crystal Palace to see their Premier League title hopes suffer a severe blow and leave Luis Suarez in tears at the final whistle when they drew 3-3. So Liverpool were leading 3-0 in this game against Crystal Palace. Okay? And somehow in the last 11 minutes, they conceded three goals and they drew the game 3-3. And if you look at Gerard here, he looks very calm. Gerard never won the Premier League with Liverpool. Jordan Henderson guided Liverpool to the Premier League when they ended with 99 points, which I'll get into in a moment. So how can you be 3-0 down against the top of the league and then score three in the last 11 minutes. It's scandalous. This is the same season that Gerard said after they beat Man City at home when everyone thought Liverpool had pretty much won the league after that. He said, let's not let this slip. And then Liverpool at home against Chelsea, Gerard slipped which led to Demba Bar scoring against Liverpool and Chelsea won that game. It's crazy. And then Gerard became the head coach of Aston Villa and he was their coach when Man City came back and scored three goals in the last 15 minutes to win the 2021-2022 Premier League season and take it away from Liverpool. If Gerard's Villa would have won that game, Liverpool would have won the league, but they didn't. They didn't, did they? It's all coded. So they conceded three goals in the last 11 minutes. Three times 11 equals 33. We know coronavirus was declared a global pandemic on 3-11, March the 11th. When Liverpool won their only Premier League title, Henderson was their captain. And they ended that season with an incredible record. They drew three and lost three, like 33. 33 goals against. And they finished with 99 points, which is 33 times three. 
I really hope more of you are understanding the work I'm putting out is unbelievably sacred and there's next to nobody in the world that's doing this. But look at the 33s. Jordan Henderson guided Liverpool to win the 2022 FA Cup, which I predicted before the season began, and they won it 33 years after the Hillsborough disaster. John Paul Gilhulley, a relative of the England and Liverpool footballer Steven Gerrard, was killed in the crowd surges at the 1989 FA Cup semi-final. An inquest into the boy's death heard from two family friends of the young football fan who said he disappeared from view as the crush became unbearable. Steven Gerrard's 10-year-old cousin died after disappearing during the Hillsborough disaster. This leads me to this image here. My brothers had to sacrifice everything. Trent Alexander-Arnold on his brothers. Trent is now wearing number 10 for England. And we know Satan gets you 10. Trent was basically dropped from the England squad. And now suddenly he's become England's most important player. Why? Why is this happening? Because it's all coded. So what does he mean by my brothers had to sacrifice everything? What does that mean? Guys, what does that mean? Trent wears number 66, which nobody questions. He wears number 66. 33 plus 33 equals 66. The book of Revelation is the 66th book of the Bible. The Church of Satan was founded in 66. England won the World Cup in 66. And who was the hero? It was number 10, Jeff Hurst. And now Trent's wearing number 10 all of a sudden. And people don't question it. They'll just say, yeah, he's talented. He uh, supplies so many assists from fullback. Imagine how many he's going to supply from an attacking midfield role. They'll justify it because they don't understand the code. And it's interesting that Cain sacrificed his brother Abel in the Bible. They were the sons of Adam and Eve. And Liverpool once had a player called Abel Xavier. We know about Xavier from X-Men, but Abel Xavier. And he also played for Everton. And remember 33 degree Freemason, John Holding founded Liverpool FC and Everton FC. You've got the red and the blue, the divide. And I never understood how football clubs are sponsored by beer, like Carlsberg. These elite athletes who should be promoting a healthy lifestyle, the jerseys are sponsored pretty much by alcohol brands or gambling brands. It makes no sense, just like it makes no sense how McDonald's sponsors the World Cup or how Pepsi sponsors the Super Bowl. It's satanic and we just accept Satanism. We just accept it. So you think all these 33s that are put together are random? They're not. All of this here, you can research yourself. All of this happened. And now suddenly Gerard's team in Saudi Arabia want to sign Jordan Henderson, who's 33, and give him 33 million per year. And you want to believe it. You so desperately want to believe it. You won't believe in the Bible. You won't believe in what I'm revealing with the code, even though I back it up and predict things every day with about an 85 to 90% hit rate. But you'll believe this. You'll believe this to be true. And you'll respect him and you'll admire him and you'll understand when he goes to Saudi Arabia, not knowing it's biblical, not knowing it's coded, not knowing it's mocking Jesus Christ. We know how big the number 33 is with Jesus. All these 33s with Gerard, 3-3 against AC Milan, the year after 3-3 against West Ham in the FA Cup final. His most humiliating game was the 3-3 draw against Palace. 3-3. Liverpool win the FA Cup 33 years after Hillsborough disaster where Gerard's Cousin died at age 10. Liverpool win the only Premier League title and they finish with three draws and three losses and concede 33 goals. And they finish on 99 points, 33 times three. Well, guys, it's time to wake up now. 
It really is. I've done all I can to help you. But you've got to help yourself as well. Thank you for supporting my work. If you haven't checked out my website, you should check it out. If you haven't purchased any of my books, you should check them out. And God bless you all, guys. Guys, I would recommend to not worship false prophets like Henderson and Gerard and Trent and instead give your energy and love to Jesus Christ. God bless you all. God wins.